Good morning. It's Friday. But it's our Sunday. But it's on the calendar, it's Friday. Um, where are we off to this morning? Where are we off to, Gavin? You know where we're going. Uh, yeah, we're going to the fracture clinic. Yeah, we're going to see another ortho. <sighs> After yesterday's experience was so unique. And this is where it gets like a little bit hard, right? So when when do you when do you submit to the fact that somebody's a doctor and has specialized training and that sort of stuff and when do you trust your body and know that something isn't right and the pain you are feeling cannot be the way it's going to be for the rest of your life like when where is that line and Michael and I were sort of having a discussion about that last night is that like we're like doctors doctors go to school right so they they have a formal education in um, in things medicine which is fantastic and um, Michael raised a valid point that with what Michael does Michael wouldn't walk into a hospital and expect to know um, what to do as a surgeon and he wouldn't expect a doctor to be able to do what Michael does and expect to know um, but the point that I raised was that there's a certain amount of inferencing of common sense of of logic like there is definitely some specialty like don't get me wrong but I think from looking at my x-rays it's pretty clear that something isn't right right we're 14 weeks in now like that's three and a half months in and something still isn't right there is still an obvious protrusion of a bone although it's not breaking through the skin thank god for that it is definitely still there um and so to me like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that and and the doctor yesterday just sort of dismissed it he's like yeah no that wouldn't that bone sticking out wouldn't be causing her any pain and i'm like like how how is that even logical how how is that logical and i forget who i was talking to yeah. oh i think i think i was talking to <laughs> to to eden <laughs> and i'm like like where did this doctor get his his medical degree a cracker jack box and she's like yeah no google <laughs> so um yeah it's all it's all a little bit it's all a little bit frustrating on this side because i do have a medical education Although we choose to have me be at home with Gavin and um, I take that role with him very, very seriously and I love it. Um, but I kind of can read the x-rays a little bit and no, they never should have sent me home in a cast. So here we are, I've been trying to do it their way because honestly, I am a a millennial woman and I am a strong woman so I did try to submit is not the right word but I did try to submit a little bit um, to what to the course of action the doctors were choosing to take but then here we are 14 weeks later and um, there is no bone approximation. There is only a slight healing halo. So we were talking about, you know, that there's, there's a certain amount of common sense, right? When it comes to this sort of stuff. So in, in nursing, there is a nursing theorist and she was actually a nurse and her last name was Benner. And um, Benner's nursing model was novice to expert. And so when you first come in, when you first come in as like a baby brand new student nurse, 
Um, you're a novice. You don't have that gut instinct about things. Um, you don't have a whole lot of education about them yet, but you do have a little bit of a clue. And people with like zero medical anything, um, no biology, because even high school biology should allow you to read that x-ray and say, um, hmm, something's not right. But irregardless, like you would at least be at the novice level. Here is a visual depiction of Benner's theory where one goes from novice to expert. Telling you that we're on the way to go see the other ortho. So I guess uh, we will check in in a bit. Okay. See you soon. Many hours later. And we're back. It's been a few hours though. We went to the fracture clinic, a guy, the ortho, and then we went out for lunch. And now I'm here. So this ortho. <laughs> it's confirmed that the other ortho may have used Google or Cracker Jack Box. said very very different different things um, my foot is no way even close to 60 to 70 percent healed not even close um, the doctor says at least another six weeks except now we are back to a hundred percent non weight bearing because that is fine <laughs> oh, so, um, but what we did do, what he like, and we had this conversation back and forth, you know, and I'm like, I don't want to give you another six weeks and have it not heal and then have to be off it for six weeks. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. And he was pretty confident that given another six weeks that it would heal. So the deal that we made is that we would be back in five weeks and um, he wouldn't argue about surgery at that point. That if we still didn't have close to 100% calcification, I think that's the way we left it, right? That we would be looking at surgery. Um, this doctor's approach was so different. So um, when we were having this discussion, it wasn't just, I am doctor, listen to me. But he was actually concerned about my comfort and my well-being and my family's comfort and their well-being during this time. Like it was, it was interesting. So he's given me something for the pain that he doesn't want me to um, let the pain climb. He's like, just, just take it, just take it and let's keep your pain under control. Something else they also did. So I have big feet. And um, I'm in like that Robocop boot, right? But I have big feet. And as a result, when you have big feet, the whole boot itself is big, but I'm at the lowest size for the range for this boot. I think this boot is like 10 to 13 or something. I'm not sure. Michael was the one um, that went across to get it. <sighs> so we are in this boot but as a result every time I you know did anything in the boot it hurt and that was actually causing pain so we used half a roll of padding <laughs> and we rolled it and then folded the sock over top um, and that is definitely offering a tremendous amount of support and um, decrease the pain by at least um, 50% like the pain from having it down I'm definitely still swelling and you know it definitely still hurts and all that stuff but as soon as I realized that this doctor was focused on um, the best outcome for me and for my family and not what was easiest for him 
um, that was pretty much what made um, our decision to wait it out another five weeks. Not looking forward to it, honestly. I'm not looking forward to the next five weeks. But we've already done 14, right? So five more weeks is not that much longer. Um, and he's gonna keep me comfortable between then and now, which is, is that to me is such a big deal. Like it's just such a big deal. Um, he also explained things a little bit, well, a lot a bit better than the other doctor did. And it was a lot more, a lot, more of a let's partner together and find a solution and a lot less of well I'm the doctor and I said so so that that was kind of good is there anything else you want to add so hello don't smile Gavin don't smile don't smile don't smile it was like two hours there though. Like we were in with him for at least a good half hour. Like he doesn't rush you either, which is so stinking nice. And then even after he had looked at the x-ray once and we still, you know, and I'm like, I don't want to give you another six weeks and then have to do surgery and then have to give you another six weeks. I'm like, I can't do it. Like I've had enough. <laughs> he went back to look at the x-ray. Like he actually didn't just say, well deal. He went back to look at the x-ray and got um, his his tech person, I don't even know what they're called, orthotech, orthotech um, to come and look at the x-ray with him. Gavin, don't smile. Don't smile. We're trying to keep him awake till we get home. Um, yeah, but he got her to look at it too, which was, you know, that just... Such, such respect, such respect. So needless to say, we will not be going back to Ortho Cracker Jack. And um, yeah. So another five weeks. And that is the update. I will post um, some pictures of the x-ray so you guys can take a boo because you guys seem to really like that and I will talk to you all soon bye friends bye. where's the wave bye. bye bye on the left side of this frame is the way the fracture looks currently and on the right side was when I first broke it y'all come back now you hear